Okay, so Max and I are in the bathroom so he can eat his For Health Mature Adult Chicken Formula. It's really soft and he has really bad teeth. So this works really good for him, doesn't it? I think I spoon feed more dogs than I ever had to spoon feed my children. Harley's in here with us. She's not very happy about the fact that Max is getting old cans. She's not getting any. I, I will get you a treat then, okay? Somebody sent you biscuits, the soft kind that you like. So as soon as I get Max done, I will go get you a soft biscuit. How's that sound? I tell you what. I give you a little spoonful just because you're a good girl. There you go. Okay? All right. Did you get it all licked off there? All right. Now it's Max's turn. Now it's Max's turn. He almost ate my phone earlier. He must be hungry. Yeah. So Mr. Max didn't want any food this morning, but tonight he seems like he's pretty darn hungry. Yeah. Are you just not a morning eater, Max? PB isn't either. Yeah. You gotta get your mouth working before you get your food. Okay, can I give Harley another bite? Yeah, she gets another bite too. Good job, Har. Wanna look there side? All right, Max is ready. Oh, hold on, Max, I'm getting there. There you go. Good job. Good job. You want her bite? All right. What a good boy. What a good boy. Say thank you to all those Facebook people that donate money for your canned food. Yeah, it makes you happy, doesn't it? It makes you really happy. No. Old dude like you having trouble walking, you look forward to your meals. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I will give you some. Okay. Okay, Max is turning in. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. Hold on a second. I'm getting it. There you go. Boy, you didn't want to wait that time, did you? You was hungry, hungry. Hungry, hungry. Here. So, Facebook friends, I had to go on an appointment today. And on my way home, here's a cat in the middle of the road. Super, super skinny. Car just misses it. They're whizzing past. They don't care. Second car almost hits it. And I'm like, ah. So I pull over up the road and start walking back through. And I think, okay, Lynn, don't worry about it. Because as soon as you get near the cat, it's going to take off running into the field. So minivan's coming. I'm afraid it's going to hit the cat. So I flagged the minivan down. Thankfully, she stopped and waited on me. And I said, hey, kitty, what are you doing? Fully expecting the cat to run off. Now, he said it ran over, jumped up on my leg. I picked it up. I thought, oh, okay. Well, when I get to the car, there is no way this cat. Okay, Harley, we're done. There's no way this cat is going to let me put it in the car. So, it'll just freak out, scratch me up a little, and jump out of my arms and run out into the field. Right? Guess what? Nope. Open the car door. Gets right in the back seat of my car, climbs into one of the dog beds, goes to sleep for the rest of the ride home to the ranch. I'm like, oh, brother. Okay. Well, so I stopped down at the meow house, walk to the trailer, get one of the new catios out, haul the box up to the ranch, go back, get my car at the meow well house, pull in the driveway, have a carrier, and I'm like, yep, when I get this cat out and I try to put it in the carrier... It'll take off. Nope. Went right in the carrier. Took it into the quarantine room. Mike, one of the volunteers, helped me set up the catio. Put a cushy bed in that somebody had gotten us. One of those, like, pillow beds um, that has, like, fur on it. Put a litter box in. We do need some deep smaller litter boxes but deeper so they don't kick it out all over the place um got it food got it a can of food that had been donated to us and um she checked out the litter box walked over ate some of her food walked over to the cushy bed made some bread 
kneaded it a little, laid down, went to sleep. She's down there sleeping. So tomorrow, Michelle Polanski is going to stop by, test her stool. I guess I'm going to have to try to find a vet that can test for feline AIDS and leukemia. Um, I don't have that. Maybe Michelle does. I don't know. We'll see. She's becoming a 501c3, so she will definitely be the go-to cat lady. She knows her stuff. But, yeah. So the rescue is now proud owner of another cat. I'll let you know how it goes from here. All right, Max. That was the whole can. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, you ready to go back out with everybody else? They're not happy that you're in here and we're out there. Or... They're out there. Okay? We're going to go get biscuits since Harley was behaving. All right. See you guys all later. Bye.